What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we are here with some real life boxing of myself. I sparred about five hours ago for the first time in two years. Um, picked up again like January time, you guys know that if you followed the boxing journey, you will be seeing more boxing more spar and stuff like that. We had a good session with our uh, with our coach, and it was me and my mate, and it was his first time sparring. We, you know, obviously he didn't just jump straight in. You know, he'd been taught a lot of stuff, and it, we, we're both pretty ready. And yeah, this was the first time, so I thought, you know what, we would react to it live here. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. I'm excited to show you guys. I really am. So yeah, um, it's three rounds, and each round's about a minute and forty five. They are. They, sorry, they are about two minutes, but obviously, you know, like coming in and him starting the recording and stuff, you'll see we kind of start like close together. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna talk about it a bit. And yeah, if you guys want to see more, drop a like, subscribe. And yeah, I'm so excited. I've been, I've been excited. Also, um, shout out to Empire Fight Store. I picked up some of their stuff, and it's it's the most comfortable gloves, the the most comfortable head guard I've ever used. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. Let's press play if I can. There we go. So obviously that's me in the orange and black. And uh, and yeah, man. Obviously we didn't want to go 100% and take chunks out of each other. Uh, obviously I hadn't sparred for two years. So I was just... My, my mate, obviously... One thing I'll say about my mate here is good credit boy, to him. Lovely. Head movement, he, he, he felt good. He, he looked good. Uh, he kept that back hand up quite a lot, which is good. You get a lot of people that just drop their hands too much. Always and he, head, and yeah? he looked really good. Our coach, obviously, behind I'll lower the audio a bit. Our coach behind us is, you know, making sure that we've got our head movement and stuff. And, uh, and yeah, you know, it's, uh, we, you know, we definitely get into the flow of it. You guys will see my hair go a bit crazy as well. That is the only thing I'm unhappy with, what i done right there. I tried to, I think, jab, jab, straight. So I, so I, I jab, jab, and then I straight, but I lift that back leg up like crazy. That's really dumb of me. I shouldn't do that. Uh, but I like, you know, like my lesson there. There you go, boom, boom. Good, and what I try to do is get against the ropes quite a bit, get in the corner and let him kind of unload. You know, his first spar and he doesn't need someone that's just bullying him, beating him up. You need to learn. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Uh, but like the first round, we were just feeling out. The second and third round, we really get into it. So yeah, it was really, really good rounds here. I, I, I generally had so much fun. See, I'm just using, using, my, using my time and using my quite quite good at getting my space and so I know I'm just out of range that's one thing you'll notice that I'm quite good at I like to keep my front hand out quite a bit my back hand does does some weird shit uh but yeah you guys will see I just them gloves are amazing this head guy's amazing and they got the empire top as well uh yeah tried to get that check hook there caught him with that straight as he was entering uh but yeah he, he's getting used to you know caught him with that big overhand to, to, uh big overhand left there He's getting used to it, you know. This is his first ever time, and, and for me, I think he's done really well. I'm generally impressed. Second and third rounds were his best rounds for sure. Uh, but you see here, I'm just, I'm just happy to, you know, just be up against Rebs. That's last 30 seconds left here. Just, I haven't watched it by the way, guys. I haven't watched this back yet. So you know, I also he's a little bit longer, which normally I'm used to being the longer person. Caught him with that too. Caught him with a bit of a comment. Bang! That body shot hurt. Ready? Yeah, he calls that body shot. He had taken a credit to him. I think he could have took it and and carried on, but you'll you'll see if I if I show you guys the shot. So I, I land the two and the three, and I land it again, and then I I go. I know he's going to throw that right. He tries to hit me with the uppercut, but that that body shot is 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 too nasty right there. You guys will see bang right there. He tries to shake it off. I'm sure if you guys have been hitting the body, you know you try to shake it off. You try to. But the more you stand upright and the more you breathe, the more it hurts. So credit to him. He dropped me when we were doing some body sparring the other week. So, you know, it was a good shot. But this is round two. Now, obviously, that round kind of ended. There was about 15 seconds left in that round. So well, not even that, actually. I think there was like five or six seconds. So we, we ended that round there. He got up and we got on with round two oh, here. Right in the nose. <laughs> uh, this is, I mentioned, I mentioned my nose is weak. So my coach, I'll <laughs> smack him in the nose, cause, uh, which was good. Because normally people are a bit of a wuss about, about my nose. So here, I'm in the corner letting him unload a little bit. You know, keep me in that corner. Keep me in that corner. That's don't what, that's what we're thinking. There we corner. go. Don't, you know, just keep me there. Keep me there. But I'm able to move around. I'm able to move. I, I, I feel quite confident, man. I've, I feel like I haven't missed a beat. Not. I, I feel like I'm better yeah, than I used to be, believe it or not. Caught him with that and then pulled back. That one, two, and pulled back. I didn't actually know that our coach was this close to us when he was recording. I, I, I was going to set up a tripod, but he was like, I'll record for you. And he was following us around and getting some really good angles. So, nice straight down there. I love throwing that left straight. Boom, boom. Let him land some shots. And you can see my hair starts to get a bit out of control. That one, two down the pipe there. But, yeah. There's... Just, just getting a feel for it. 
Slip under there, one, two. Just trying to get his, just trying to get timing down. Let him, you know, let let him throw. No point in he's not going to learn nothing if he's just getting punched up like all the time. But yeah, I haven't I haven't watched this back. It's cool to watch this oh, back. But I felt good. I felt good. I only felt really exhausted at the end of the third. Caught with that straight. I I, I bang caught with that one too. He missed with those. He missed with that. Caught with that as well as he tried to return with that uh, uppercut. Caught with that straight as well. Catches me with an uppercut there as I go down. Didn't actually feel that to be honest. I don't remember getting hit by that. And yeah, I'm just we're just trying to feel comfortable catching with that one as well. And yeah, just just a bit of a slower second round here as opposed to that first round. The third round was was a bit more. Just yeah, just letting him you know load up in that corner. But that that straight there. That's one thing he's gonna have work on the more we spar is that he can't just let that straight just hit him over and over. Oh there, that that two three there was nice. And that's the end of that round. Now we go into the third. Now. Honestly, I, I, I'm amazed at, at how well he done for his first time sparring. I'm amazed at how comfortable I felt um, for the first time in, in two years. Uh, and yeah, really good round. So this is the third round here. And yeah, just wanted to utilize the jab a bit more. That's, that's what we were told to do. Catching with that straight to the body. That was a nice shot, actually. And yeah, catching with that straight again. Go straight to the body again. I'm using lots of head movement, as you can tell. There you go. Cover up. Go on. Go on. Let him unload on me. Let him unload. Go on. That's it. That's it. Do, do what feels right. That's the thing. You know, that's what I want to do. Just teach him. It's okay to just unload combinations. You don't need to throw those single shots every time. Keep working. Let's go. Come on. Bang with that straight to the chin. Missed it just out of range there. Caught him with one more there. He caught me with a good one there as well, actually. If I go back back to that. Um, back in. Let's go. Come on. So it, I'm just out of range with that. He misses both of those. And then we both catch each other right, right there. Bang! Both at the same time. And he caught me with a good one there. I was, I was, that was like one of the shots I remember him catching me with. Yeah, uh, not, nice jab that he lands there, actually. Honestly, I forgot the coach was there. Right, really, like, we didn't even notice he was there. Both sort of head guards out. My head guard actually flies off at one point because it got so slick in there. And I hadn't done the chin strap up properly. That was terrible. I'm not happy with myself for that That one there. Caught him with that yeah, that, lovely, uh, that, that lead hook there. A bit, bit, bit better than before. And then, yeah, I was just trying to work straight down the pipe. Just get out of the way of his jab and put the straight down the pipe. Started to hit each other with a bit more aggression in this third. There, I caught him with that one. Rolled under it. He caught me with about what, about that, that uppercut after about five shots. So my, my head movement is, is so much better than it used to be, despite me not sparring. I feel like watching the sport has, has helped me so much. He catches me right in the right in the cock there. Right. I mean, you can see. Hold on. Hold on. See if you can find it. Boom! You see there, he hits me right there. I was like, whew. I had to, I had to shake it off. 30 seconds left. I think he catches me with a really good shot and my head guard almost falls off, but I, re I return right away. There we go. A couple of straights there. Really good, really good straights there, actually. That was quite a nice, that was quite nice there. Bang, bang. Out of range. Bang. See, that? that's the kind of stuff that I, 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 I impress myself with. So I'm hands down, luring him in. Bang. Straight to the head. Lead hook. He misses, he misses his straight, his, his jab, and then he misses the straight just out of range because I lean back and then bang again with the straight and then move off. And then he catches me and then he yeah, tries to throw the there, uppercut and I'm blocked. Pivot round. Straight again. This is where I start to feel really exhausted these last few seconds. Bang, straight. There you go. He almost hits my head guard off. Good, Catch him with that straight and we're done. Nice there we go. So three good rounds. First time sparring for my mate and obviously me not sparring for two odd years. Um, you know, felt really good. I, I, I really, I really had a lot of fun in there. Um, you know, we said like at the end of the session, like, oh, that was a good one. I'm just going to watch this body shot again. Or you can see that's loading up as he's trying to throw his shot. Mine was just quicker than his uppercut. If his uppercut was a bit faster... If his uppercut was a bit faster, he would have blocked it with his arm. But by the time he was down here, you can see I just catch him with that bang. And then I'm away again. And credit to him, he got up within about, you know, eight seconds. So if it was an actual count out, he would he literally got up right after that. And he was just like, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. Um, you know, some good straights, some things I need, definitely need to work on. I'll send this to him as well. He might even watch the video. Um, and yeah, it was genuinely... So much fun. I forgot how much fun Spiram was. Um, I, I really enjoyed every second of it. And yeah, you know, so I, I, I'm really impressed with my straight. I have to say, my straight is really like that, for example. Like, 
you know, use my jab. I use my jab the whole start of this round, and then, then he goes to throw something. Boom, I go under it, slip to the body, nice. and then I carry on. And then, yeah. One thing I, do, I think I threw maybe twice was an uppercut. I definitely need to throw more uppercuts. He definitely tried to throw uppercuts. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, I, I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with my, with my head movement, to be honest, like, there. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Like, I, I used to watch myself and be really, whoop, whoop, see, I used to be really clunky. There he got me right in the cock. Um, I used to be really clunky with my head movement and, and not feel right with some of my shots, but, uh... Yeah, man, it was it was awesome. It was really good, and I feel so much better than I used to about about my my boxing That's ability. Right, I, I really do. Uh, enjoying every second of it. Um, and yeah, this this was this was the thing as well. This, by the way, for you know, I, I don't want people to think like I, I I do it to show like the the I don't know if you'd call that like a, a kind of a weak Philly shell. Sometimes I have my right arm out like this, and this is here. Sometimes this my left hand is down, and sometimes I'm like this. I don't know why. It's just I just do whatever feels comfy at the time. Uh, so here, this felt comfy, and I caught him with the straight because it's it's you know the straight is here, and it just comes out straight to the head, and then the straight come the the lead hook comes over. I'm out of range, and then bang again, and then I move off. Um, credit to him there for keep chasing me because in that situation when I used to spar before people would just back away after that But he he took all three of them shots missed his and he threw back with an uppercut yeah, that I had to I had to block And then yeah, and then this is just where he needs to be a bit busier That's all but definitely gonna be showing you guys this as much as possible Hopefully once a week if we can do it of course there'll be some weeks where we can't we don't have the time you know whatever but he's, I mean, I said to him that once you spar, that's when you, like, fall in love with the sport. And, and that's what he has today. He's just like, this is the best way to start a Sunday morning. Like, it's absolutely incredible. Our coach was really cool as well. It's his first time being, doing a PT of him because my old coach has moved uh, up to Brighton. So it's first time with with, with this coach. And, um, yeah, he, he's absolutely awesome. Helped out, helped my mate with a lot of stuff that he hadn't done before. Um, you know, done some pairs of both of us for, like, a, a, a one to two session. It didn't feel like we were getting half the time. It felt, I'm pretty sure, the only time we were stood doing nothing was for three minutes and that was just on the pads but other than that we were both completely busy at all times for the full hour which was awesome um so yeah it, it was really good fun uh I, I i really enjoyed it i thought it was i, I thought it was awesome and I, I feel so much better than than i used to when i sparred honestly i felt so confident in there i felt like i knew what shots and i tell you what as down it's because i watched more boxing than i used to i used to watch boxing once in a while back when i actually fought um whereas now I watch it all the time. I, I've, I I don't think a day has gone in the last three months where I haven't watched an old fight, a new fight, or something uh, boxing related in in some way. So I think that that definitely helps me. Definitely helps me be get better. Uh, nose didn't bleed. Lip did. I've got a nasty. You guys might be able to see it. But I've got a nasty cut all the way because my shit mouth guard. I'm getting a new one though, hopefully. Um, but yeah, felt good. It was really good fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys tend to really enjoy the real life boxing stuff. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, drop a like, subscribe down below, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.